Hello and welcome to Chilly Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Starfield. And last time we came back to Sheribdis 3 and we decided to side with the Pragmatists because their way kind of makes a bit of sense to me. It's like they want to learn how to do things themselves rather than rely on the machines and be able to eventually leave once they're ready. But for now, I believe we need to speak to... Oh, okay, Sam. Calm down. Uh, Ada Lovelace, I think her name was. So, let's get into it. Alright, what? Oh, robot. Okay, so... That's Genghis. See if Ada Lovelace... Ah, ah so we have to attend a meeting. Okay, well... Maybe, maybe, just in case we have to... <clears throat> Sorry, just in case we have to... Um, do a little bit of persuasion. I think maybe. Or do we have some what's paramour again? Twenty-five percent persuasion. Yeah, maybe that's a maybe that's the one to go for. Yeah. Yep, yeah. I'll have a pizza square, just because I'm feeling a little peckish. Okay. <clears throat> what am I? What? Oh, there we go. Hello. Hello. Genghis, hello. Do you say anything? The outsider, Franklin. Amanorinus, Genghis. Ah, there we go. I had hoped we would not be meeting like this after so short a respite from war. You drove us here, Franklin. Did you think we would let the outsider just hand the pragmatist victory? Stranger, mm -hmm. if you do not change your course, there will be none of the pragmatists alive to help. And I'll calm down. Come on now. <clears throat> um, look, I'm looking for a way to end this peacefully, okay? You want peace? Yeah. Then let the renegades go free. Roosevelt can do whatever he wants with the others. I mean, that would this be... This is not what we agreed, okay. Genghis. Only those who have passed the test can leave Crucible. This is my test. Okay. Here and now. And I intend to pass it in blood if I have to. Um. <sighs> Surely there can be some compromised. There can be some compromised with the renegades. I think that means compromise with the renegades. If you let us leave Crucible, then the Pragmatists can do whatever they want here. With my blessings. Under no circumstances can I agree to that. Genghis specifically should never, ever leave this planet. But why? So there it is. It is spite. That is why the great Franklin Delano Roosevelt drives Crucible to ruin. To deny me my own chance to live in the settled systems. Your namesake was a plague upon the world. Arguably the greatest butcher in human history. That is kind of true. If there was even a fraction of a chance I would be unleashing that upon the stars, I would do anything in my power to stop it. I mean, you do know that it's kind of dangerous out there, and there's every chance that he'll die pretty quick. And if he dies out there, nobody will know he's dead down here, and he won't get reanimated, re reincarnated. I don't know what you call it. Um, do you really think he could do that, Franklin? Can any compromise be reached yet? Genghis, I will never let you or the others leave this planet. Yes, but why? But Perhaps your children. They would be blameless. Marry someone. Build a life. You cannot bargain with the point of a sword. No. Either pledge to let us go now, or there will be battle. I do not fear it. Yeah. We are at an impasse. I am sorry. I tried. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Do you really think he could do that? I know Crucible is a small town, really, but over the decades, he has caused such misery and destruction even here. 
I just cannot take a chance with something so large at stake. Yes, but the thing is, maybe he's acting this way. I know it's Genghis Khan was a bad dude, we all know this, but maybe his clone is acting this way because he's sick of being cooped up inside these walls, for God's sake. I get it, you know. Perhaps the believers do not have to be our enemies, yeah. Perhaps you are right. I'm on Arenas. The facility and its test and mission are flawed, broken. We all know it. Yeah. And if you are allowed to author that test, then you control us all. So the answer is we are all imprisoned here? You leave us no choice but to join the renegades and end your society. Twenty years. What? We have to stand on our own two feet to earn a chance at freedom. True. So let the outsider reprogram the facility, and for 20 years we work together to make Crucible truly ours. And after, we institute a test, which we both author with mutual veto power, and any who pass may leave. Do not let the politician cloud your head with pretty words. You think I would accept this? I mean, oh. <sighs> 20 years is nothing to avoid this slaughter, that's true. We... We have been going in circles for so long. We could kill them. Kill them all. And then we could dictate any terms we like. I only lead my people to battle when I must. There you go. Do you promise, Mr. Roosevelt, a fair test? One that we can pass in our lifetime? I will not make it easy, but it will be, as you say, fair. Mm -hmm. No! Amon Arenas, this is a trick! Roosevelt has done many things that infuriate me. But his honor? I have never had to question. That's the good. believers will not fight. Let the gods decide which of you is right. <sighs> Thank you for your wisdom, yes. I Very think wise. you have the makings of a fine ruler yourself. There you go. You will regret this, Samanarinas. Mightily. Then we will meet on the field of battle. The heavens will judge who is worthy. Oh, God bless it. So be it. Oh. We have fortified the society, but this will never end until Genghis is dead. He is the linchpin. If you take him out, I know an armistice can be reached. So we've got to take out him. Okay. Um... <sighs> what would that mean, killing a bunch of clones, though? Yeah. Yes. But... That is on their heads, not ours. I didn't ever agree to kill for him, that's very true, I didn't. This is not something I am asking. It is something that they are demanding of you. Who? They will keep trying to kill you until we put an end to this. <sighs> okay, where is he? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he get go? Let's see if we can just pull them off. Where'd he get go? Well... Not one of all this, believe me, though. You know? This is, this is the crummy way to end it. All right, where is he? Is he in here? Oh. Sorry. What did? Ah, okay, okay. Genghis Khan's outfit, Genghis Khan's hat. Oh, I don't like this ending. It's pants. I hope Cora doesn't get too much underfoot. I don't care about Cora at this point. Good grief, sir. A lemon. Really? Of all the things to die with, a lemon? 
I don't feel good about this, you know. Truly, I don't. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Clone settler. Uh, you look remarkably like a CEO we met not long ago. I'm not happy about this. At all. Not even slightly. I'm kind of... Who's, who's, is this the, the Ada that we need to speak to? Maybe we should have spoken to her first. I don't know. Oh, honestly. Madame, hello. Please, deadly trouble is brewing. Deal with it and we can converse at length. Oh, all right. She wants us to deal with this first. Who are you? Okay. Do you suppose if we'd have killed Genghis first, we wouldn't have had to kill the rest of them? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I don't like this. All right. Let's see a bit. It is over. Yeah. Why does it always come down to force? I hope your settled systems has truly learned from the past. Clearly, we have not. Mm. <sighs> yeah. To be a leader, a true leader, you must make terrible choices and then live with them. Yes, unfortunately. If it is any consolation, they gave us no choice. Please. Well, they did. Go to the facility and make it so that it will obey my instructions. So we can finally grow as a people. I need We're to fighting. go out there. Again. I want to see it do everything there is to be done. Sorry about that, folks. Everybody just suddenly started attacking us for some reason, so I had to reload and uh, play through again. But that's fine. Hello, Ada. Lair, madame. Blood runs in the streets again. Mm. I had hoped, however naively, that we were past that. Yeah. I do not hold you responsible, but your arrival was certainly a lethal catalyst. Well, I might be able to do something about you? it. Yeah. Let's, um, hmm. I found the security override code, but it's encrypted. Yeah. So your mission to the Beagle was a success? Uh huh. Let me see. Okay. It is done. There is a standard cipher used by the facility. Cool. It took me many years and, well, lifetimes to overcome. All right. And now, the mysteries of the facility await you. Ah. I pray you choose what befalls us wisely. Oh, I will. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Yes, the, um, the one good thing that did come out of my replay, so to speak, was that only Genghis died. I didn't have to kill the rest of them, which is actually... Quite Hopefully good. all this death will be worth it in the end. Because we, we were able to save a bunch of people. Let's just see. Um, did I? Let's have a look. My god, I look ridiculous. Okay. Um, right, let's go to the facility then and um, sort things out. And here we are again, folks. Oh my goodness, honestly. It's been a funny old, um, a funny old journey, this one, but I think we can just go in over here, can't we? Yes, we can. Aha, look at that. Okay. Oh, good grief. I don't know. Absolute madness. One thing I did want to mention is I have been watching today the new, um, Fallout series that is released on Amazon Prime video and oh my god I love it already and it makes me want to play Fallout all over again I was pretty late to the Fallout series I I've only ever played Fallout 4 unfortunately and I um, really want to play it again now after all this so all right let's 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 get in facility restricted wing computer uh, warning 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 cascade failure overflowing diagnostic self-repair routines Hard lock on restricted wing access. Please use security override code to return security to default values. Let's do it then. Okay. And we are in. So what's in here, I wonder? What? Oh, oh God, it's a fan. Jeez, I thought it was something crawling on the wall. Oh, good God. Lear. Is there anybody in? Okay, there's a robot. There's a robot. There's a robot there. Is the robot gonna hurt us? I think. I think the robot will want to hurt us. 
Where'd he go? Where did he go? All right. Let's just have a little little peep over here. Anything? Ooh. Ah. Fine. Hello. Nobody else, apart from robots, wandering about. Sam, we need to be careful, man. This could be deadly. Dangerous. Well, where did he go? Being advised that this is now a combat zone. Well, System bad news. Failure. I'm 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 pretty good at combat, thankfully. So it don't matter. I could uh, really bend your ear when you got him. Look, Sam. Now is not the time, mate. Okay, so there's clones in here. What? There are clones alive in here? What? What? That, I heard it, alright, good god. I've seen it. Okay, so, so, so. Ow. Okay, turrets down. But how? How are there clones alive in here? Oh, you shut up. Good lord, honestly. How? How are there clones alive in here? How have they been alive so long? Whoa, whoa, what? Have you seen something, Sam? Where? What? Oh. Is he hiding behind a pipe? There Looks we go. like more ruins ahead. More what ruins? What happened here? Yeah, what did happen here? How are they all? Why are they all still? What in the world? This is this is this is some I kind of madness. Get You're getting underfoot, Sam. To be quite frank, my friend. What is whoa? Okay, let's. All right, let's not play. I'm just gonna, just gonna have a look at this dude. Ah, yeah. Have they been like living in here or something? What? I don't. Well, let's see what's in that upper office area first. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Anything of any interest? Okay. Ah, any okay computers? Any tablets or anything to tell us anything? Assassins refined Beowulf. Really? Ugh. Uh, when the time's right, I'd appreciate a chat. Samuel, the time is never right, my dear. I can honestly tell you, it's never, ever, ever going to be right. What's... Okay, let's have a look. Well, not exactly what we wanted, but fine. Okay. Let's, um... Ooh, hey, I only just spotted that. Really? Maple cola. Ugh. Coffee machine and everything in here, man. Okay. Let's, um, let's head down again. And see what's down in the old hole there. Because this is curious. Why is there a hole? Oof. Okay. Can we... Oof. A lot of water down here. Uh, okay. Can we... Oop. I don't think it's probably the best idea to actually go swimming around in that. So... Go oh. I thought that was a glass wall. Never mind. Um, should we go over this way? Probably is a good idea. Okay. Don't go in the water. 
Don't go in the water, Reeve. Don't go in the water. Because it's probably toxic. And you will bloody well die. Love it. Okay. Apparently Sam can go in the water though and it doesn't matter. Is there anything else in here? Okay. Alright, there's a turret. Alright. Sam, Sam, Sam! Oh my god. You buffoon, Samuel. Good lord, sir. God bless it. Okay, so... What in the name of God is this? What's this? Remote tour... Oh, well, neither of those are really any use to us now because we've um, kind of already dealt with it all. Okay, so... so This concerns me. This concerns me a lot. To be honest. I mean... Why? Okay. Well, 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 alright. This is just... Uh, I feel a type of way right now. And it's not a good type of way. It's a rather bad type of way. What's, um, what's up here? Clone. Who are the clones off, though? They don't look like anybody I, I've seen before. Any famous, famous folks? Old hunting rifle. Ah, it's got a good value on it, I suppose. Eh. Yeah. yeah, all right. Not that we ever get the value. Isn't that weird in, in like Bethesda games? You never really get the value of the things that you pick up. Like, say, it says its value is like 12 grand. And it never is. You never get that. Okay, what's in here? Uh, a modified arc welder. No, thank you. We'll take the... Uh, the ammo. What's 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 through here? Okay, another robot. Well, while we're while we're in this area, we'll we'll keep sniffing around in here. So, what the hell? What what on earth? I all right. What's this? Ugh, more robot control and turret control and every other kind of control. Okay, uh So... Were these people like... I... I don't even know... Oh, okay. Okay. Get down. Here we go. What in the world? I mean... Distilled water, fine, okay. Sam, I, I don't like it, mate. Something's off. Something's way off. Something's really weird. Okay, okay. Let's go and um, deal with the other robot, and then um, we'll go from there. I think. I don't like this, though. Why? Why? Why are the bodies everywhere? Let's just let's just get in there, and do some. Ah, there you are. Come on, clone leader. They have a leader now. Never wise to be in my way. Some, please. Bloody turrets. Good grief. Alright. What else? This is... You can run away, but I'll still come and find you. You do know this, do you not? In the world, is there? A, do I have my? Do I have my um, old faithful with me? I do. Look at that. Oh, you're down there, are you? And now you're dead. Okay. 
Okay, just reload. Okay, well... There we go. Three left. But what is this place? Oh! It's just weird. Alright, let's, let's, let's go up again. Okay, I might have missed a little bit there. It's fine. What was that turret? It's there, wasn't it? Uh okay. Oh Sam, for goodness sake, man. We're 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 in the middle of a facility where people have been cloned. Fighting against clones. I don't really think now is the time. My brother in Christ. Good lord, honestly. Like, ooh, what's in here? Milk. What a weird place to keep your milk. Sam, please. Sam, your body blocking. Okay. <sighs> what a weird place, though. This is weird, is it not? Oh, hello. Saw that. Take that. Thank you. Alright again. Oh no, we can't go down again. So can we get out of this side? Yeah, here we go. So, what on earth was all this? It's like, I hope they're not turning these bodies into like, you know, um, food or anything. This is a micro, microbial contamination. Latkes. Okay. Oh, emergency cuttable wall, we'll certainly be looking in there. But I mean... This is weird! Okay, okay. Oh. Alright. I... I was hoping one of the clones might have some kind of tablet on them so we could find out some information, but so far, nothing. Which seems a little weird. Anything out here? No. No. Yes. This is some shady beans. What's across here? Robots? Ah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, the robots didn't really seem to do much, did they? Ooh. Dr. Fallon's computer, Elmer's computer, Dr. Chiang's computer. Okay, we'll start with Chiang. Wow. Real progress. One year... Whatever that means. If the code gets tricky, all the coming into place, see the second batch interacting and seeing that the equations... I must confess, younger me, Khan, but unlike the first batch to Marshall, this is going to work. Missing equation, change of focus, simulations are running better. It's all a kind of gobbledygook, is it not? So, geez, Sam, your eyes look psychotic. Good God, man. All right, so what's up here then? What's this? Hello? Anybody in? What the hell? What in the world? Gah. Yeah. Sure we could carry all this. Sam could moment. carry some. Can we talk? Oh, Sam. Jeez Louise, mate. Facility data core. Ooh, I saw a key card there. Emergency info. Code and facility degradation reaching critical levels. 87 core routines fragmented. Emergency manual reboot required. Emergency info. 
Chiang note, if this error has been encountered, the whole facility is in danger of irreparable harm. We've programmed a reboot process with specific requirements. Please reboot immediately. Okay. Well, hold on a minute before we do anything else. We'll take the facility key. Uh, okay. Should we? Should we? Should we? Okay. Let's do it. Initial in... Okay. Reboot and choose... Okay. Initiate full project cleanse. So that basically gets rid of everything. Is that maybe the way to go? Or... Choose a new super admin. Uh, how is Amanireus our best hope, I suppose? I know I keep pronouncing the name wrong, I'm sorry. Should I make it Amanireus? Rainus? Or Roosevelt? I mean, he did say he would listen to her, so maybe... Oh, God, let's just do it. Okay. Okay. All right, we did it. We did it. Can we go in here? What's in here? Anything? Good God. Oh, I hope we did the right thing there. Whew. You know? That was a lot. I'll have to offload some of this junk to Mr. Samuel, but he'll want to have a conversation. That's per bloody usual, so, well... And I swear to God, if it's about his bloody kid, I will take him back home. Because he's doing me head in with it. <laughs> I don't know that's mean. But he is. He's doing me head in with it. I'm sick of hearing about this bloody child of his. Um, oh, we need to open that cottable door, don't we? So we'll do that, I think. While we're here. Why not? Just to see what's in it. It's probably nothing, really. It's probably just an absolute waste of time. But you never know, I suppose. All right. Aha! Well, look at this. Some creds. Is that it, really? Come on, Sam. I suppose we'd better um, skedaddle. Go and tell Roosevelt that he's he's, he's all right. The facility is well, not no more, but you know, a safe place once more. I just, hmm, it still doesn't really, still doesn't really answer the question, does it? So what's this place? The operation room? Oh, what the hell? What the hell is this? You know they have cargo holds rolling. You got time for a quick chat? Oh my I god. I appreciate it when you're able. I must okay. confess. The hum of a grab drive makes me feel alive. We might as well take it and we're going to offload it onto Sam, but... That is kind of... Oh, kind of weird. All right, Sam. Hey, I'd, uh, I'd appreciate your advice. Oh, God, here After we go. our last talk, I was really worried what you'd say, but... I always feel better. Thank you. All right. Cora's grandpa... Good old Jacob. Well, he just will not stop pestering me to see Cora. And that's complicated. Um. You don't talk much about him, no. He is not my favorite topic of conversation. No, I get it. You my early read. years, they uh, weren't good. No. My mother died when I was seven. Some people have such strong memories from their early life. Mm -hmm. Me, I mean, I remember her. I have some pictures. I remember the feelings, but just a few clear memories. Uh, what do you remember? She had these truly ancient cameras, mm. like caveman type things. To the room with a red light, she developed pictures she took in this chemical bath. I remember sitting on a stool, looking up at them slowly fading in, and it was like alchemy to me then. That's all I have. 
Just glimpses like that. What happened to her? She banged up her knee real good in an accident. So she went in for knee replacement. It's supposed to be routine, but that damn anesthesiologist dropped the ball. And one day mom's fine. When the next doctors take her away. Well, I'm sorry about that, you know. That's that sucks. Oh it's alright. It's ancient history. It still sucks. So Jacob raised me on his own. And shit, maybe I don't give him enough credit. I mean I know how tough it is. But he was strict, hard. Dad was a longtime civil servant, a big man in governments. And he had a future all laid out for me. Man, could he get his hooks into you. He was scary good at that. Well, what exactly did he do, yeah? At his height, he was some sort of trade minister. A very prominent man in Aquila City. And after I came along, he stepped down to a lower posting. We still had a finger in trade all over the collective. Mm. I can't deny it. He sacrificed a lot to be closer to Mom and me. Eh. Uh, that future wasn't for you, yeah. You know me too well. But I tried. I felt the weight of legacy. I wanted to do him proud. He said I had to learn the business, run some freight, see how credits flow, speak the language. Meanwhile, he's working some angle for a government job for me after. That sounded even more miserable than what I was doing. <sighs> it's, well, I don't know. Sometimes parents rather foolishly try and live through the children, and it's that's not the way to do it. I'm not a parent, but, you know, you shouldn't try and live through your kids, you know. Let them choose their own path, you know what I'm saying? As long as they're not going to, you know, do themselves a, a harm or anything, or anybody else any harm. Um. Did you ever tell him you didn't want it? Oh, I started to. Many, many times. He'd always steer the conversation away or just use logic to dissect every little point. Once I held my ground and he said I was an ungrateful child, not worthy of what he was doing. Ooh, that's not nice. Um, He should have asked you what you wanted, yeah. I know, right? Yeah, Even after I was with the Rangers. Dad was just always needling, angling for me to join the government. Ooh, why? But by then I knew myself more, and I could stand up to him. And Lillian, well, she helped. Yeah. If I let Jacob into Cora's life, he'll dream up some big future for her and tie her into knots like he did with me. The man could teach a master class in manipulation. Um... Yeah. Have you seen any evidence of it? Well, no. But he hasn't had much opportunity. Okay. And he's a sly one. I'm not sure I'd be able to spot anything. Well, you think Cora's so clever, she'd probably be able to spot it. Yeah, it should be up to her, though. Otherwise, you're making her choices for her, just like your dad did for you. Yeah, but she's only 12, and... <sighs> Well, I see what you did there. There you go. If I just flat out say no, I'm a hypocrite, right? Yep. <sighs> I guess I got more to think about. All right. Hey, good to see you. Take some of this stuff, man. I might have what you need. Okay, that's offloaded some guess stuff. Yes, we're done. Yes, we are, Sam. Oh, God, I knew it was going to be about his bloody kid. Right, come on. Come out with you. Let's, um... Sam? Oh, all right, then. You do what you want. Can I get past this door? I can. All right. Let's um, let's get out. Let's see what we can see. Oh, night has fallen. My goodness. Right. Well, do you know what, folks? Do you know what? I think we are going to leave it there for today. Next time, we'll head back to the little colony over there and tell them what we found and what we've seen. And go from there. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves.